Yoo girls and boys and GoPro users and welcome to the review of Sandmark's travel kit. Thanks for this great product which was designed in California, USA for your GoPro Hero 4, 5 and the current GoPro Hero 6 version. If you take a look on the manufacturer's website, you will notice that there are two different kits available for approximately 90 US dollars. Besides a well-designed box, you can expect to have a long-lasting product due to the robust build quality. The selfie stick itself feels unbreakable by the way. Most GoPro mounts are made of plastic whereas the Sandmark version is made of aluminum. If you wish to purchase the selfie stick without buying the kit, it's available in three different sizes on the Sandmark's website. All Sandmark products are designed in California if this means something to you. In the box you will find a triple charger for the GoPro Hero 4, 5 and the current GoPro Hero 6. Just connect the charger with the provided micro USB cable to any USB port or a power bank. Let's have a look on the provided case. I think the quality is not too bad at all. If you wish to carry the bag around your shoulders, just use the provided shoulder strap. With the bag you have enough space for three action cams without a super large metal case. In my case I was still able to close the bag, but that would have been worked out better without the case around the GoPro. Apart from that, I was able to stow the dual battery charger by GoPro and the triple charger by Sandmark, a couple cables, mountings and up to three selfie sticks. Try it out by yourself and I'm pretty sure you'll get there. Again, let's take a detailed look at the provided charger. If you travel a lot, like I do, it's a great solution to have your batteries charged at all times. Just connect the charger with your laptop, a power bank or your car charger. Some LEDs on top will indicate the current status. A red LED indicates that the battery is still charging and a green LED indicates that the battery is full. You are able to charge two batteries at the same time. Either two batteries from an old GoPro version or two batteries from the current GoPro 5 or 6 or just combine them. And again, Roberto and Alisa went all the way down to Malaga to test the Sandmark selfie stick at the beach. Make sure to wash out all the sand particles after using the selfie stick at the beach to prevent the selfie stick from being stuck. We used the selfie stick for more than two weeks in the salt water and on the beach without any major problems. Make sure to put on the provided hand strap before losing the stick with your GoPro underwater. Some sticks may float, but this one here does not float. Due to the great build quality, you should be able to use this selfie stick for more than just one holiday. Last but not least, I'll have a look at the smartphone mount. It was the same mounting as all GoPro cameras have. So you'll be able to mount this on top of a selfie stick using the same screws. Due to its flexibility, you'll be able to attach any iPhone or Samsung smartphone to record yourself. Here's one disadvantage. You won't be able to trigger your smartphone camera unless you use the timer function or just record a video. Nevertheless, I found the travel kit by Sema quite handy. The back is nice, has a lot of space for accessories, your action cameras and a couple selfie sticks. Thanks to Sandmark and you for watching, see you soon and bye bye!